Hi, Ellen Goldschmidt here from my studio to talk to you about the importance of wearing a face mask and how to make your very own. I've been volunteering for Friendly House for 30 years and right now during this crisis we wanted to get out important information about wearing face masks. Now one of the most important things we can do to help flatten the curve and shorten the term of this virus is to wear face masks whenever we go outside among people that aren't in our immediate family. Everyone is in agreement that by wearing face masks, in addition to practicing social distancing and hand washing, we can make a huge difference in the transmission of the virus. This is made from a simple handkerchief and the only other thing you really need is two elastic bands, either um, literally rubber bands or these nice hair tie ones. And I'm gonna demonstrate how to make this one. It's super easy and anyone can do this. All you need is a square piece of fabric, two rubber bands or two elastic hair bands. Here's how your mask will look when you're finished. For this, you can use anything you have around the house, preferably 100% cotton, so it will be breathable and comfortable. The square piece of fabric needs to be anywhere from 16 to 18 inches square. You can use a bandana, a scarf, cut something out of a pillowcase or a sheet, an old shirt. Here's how we do it. Start with the fabric flat, fold one end towards the center, and the other end in to meet it. You can use your hands to kind of flatten and iron down the fabric. Flip it over and repeat. Fold one edge in towards the center and the other edge in to meet it. Let's flip it one more time. We have these raw edges facing each other now. Take one of your rubber bands, slip it in over one end and the other. And now fold these ends in to meet each other in the center again. Here you can tuck one end into the other to neaten it up a little bit. This is the side you're gonna have against your face. These go around your ears. Um, if you want this to be just a little bit more permanent, take a stitch or two right here if you have some needle and thread to hold those down. But it's not absolutely necessary because once you get this on, um, it stays in place. There you have it. Face masks are a serious matter, and wearing them at this time is one of the most important things you can do to help protect yourself and the community. However, there's no reason you can't make making face masks fun for your family. It's something that kids can do, that anyone in your family can do, and it's a great thing to do while you're stuck in the house. Everyone can choose their own fabric, their favorite old pillowcase, their favorite bandana. And then you can also look for things in your sewing drawer or your craft drawer to decorate your mask with if you want. You can do anything from drawing a smiley face on your mask to sewing on sequins or putting on stickers, whatever uh, appeals to your family members. I just want to say that at the end of this tutorial, you can look above or below the video on your screen to find specific details about how you can make your own face mask. 